One UI 6.1 is almost here on the Galaxy S23. We've been enjoying here at Sam Mobile 6.1 on the Galaxy S24 series. Now it is almost the turn of the Galaxy S23, the Fold 5 and the Flip 5 to get their chance to try it. So what should you expect? Well, Daniel here from Sam Mobile TV and this is the list of the top 10 things you should be excited about with One UI 6.1. <music> With the expected One UI 6.1 update literally around the corner, we thought we'd put together a list of things that we've been enjoying about One UI 6.1 on the Galaxy S24 series that is likely to come to the Galaxy S23 series and fold and flip as well. Now, all footage that you've seen of these modes are taken on an S24 Ultra. So obviously we haven't got it yet. When we do get the One UI 6.1 update, we will dive a little bit deeper into what it actually gets. Our top 10 list will start with number one, the camera modes. Some things we can potentially look forward to. Now I say potentially, because this is not confirmed, but things like single take, where on the S24 series, you can use any of the rear cameras to capture a single take photo and moment where you couldn't before with the S23 and other phones. You've also got dual recording, which has replaced director's view from the S23 series and could replace it in One UI 6.1 on the S23 series as well. Dual recording is great because rather than just recording the front and the rear cameras at the same time, you can choose any, whether it be a front and rear or whether you want to choose from two rear cameras and record from them at the same time. It might be limited on older hardware. They might limit it to full HD, because on the S24 Ultra, you can do it in 4K, which is amazing. There's other things too, like portrait video zoom, which has made its way to the S24 series, giving you the ability to actually zoom whilst recording portrait video, and the different cameras that you can use with auto framing. That's also something that's new on the S24 series with One UI 6.1 that may make its way back as well. Number two, you can probably expect some new or updated camera processing. With every new version of One UI and with every software update throughout the year, they refine and optimize the processing and the output from the cameras. That's no different with what they did with One UI 6. They definitely made a big leap forward with the S23 series, for example. So with One UI 6.1, you can absolutely expect some some processing output differences from this new version of One UI. Number three, battery protection features. With One UI 6 and One UI 5, there were some very primitive versions of battery protection. You could limit the charge of your phone to 85% when charging it. That was it. With One UI 6.1, Samsung has refined it and introduced different levels of battery protection. Ones that are adaptive, ones where you can limit it to 80%, and one where it just is a standard sort of battery protection where it will charge it to a certain percentage overnight and then bump it up at a certain time throughout the night. Different options in here that you can choose from with One UI 6.1. So we may see that come to the S23 Fold and Flip as well. Number four, I think we can probably lock this in. It's the new AI photo editing that Samsung have got with One UI 6.1. It's a cloud-based service. So you're not expecting this to be done on device. It's all gonna be processed in a cloud somewhere. The only limitation that this might have is opening this up to S23 series could potentially impact the cloud at the back end. But that's Samsung's problem to worry about, not yours. This feature and this Galaxy AI photo editing removal tool is phenomenal. Giving you the ability to remove background subjects, have them be replaced with AI, or move things around and resize it, fantastic. Look for this in the photo editor in the bottom left corner, the little AI tool, when One UI 6.1 hits your S23 in the coming weeks. Number five, Samsung Notes also got the Galaxy AI treatment. And with the new version of Samsung Notes coming with One UI 6.1, you can expect to get the same sort of AI functions in here as well. There's the ability to summarize your meeting notes and format it into a really nice header and bullets or meeting notes format. You could summarize the text that you've got there. So if you just wanted to give someone the cliff notes of what you've wrote down, you can do that as well. A lot of other clever stuff with AI and Samsung Notes, like Translate and all whatnot, that will be found in there, you'll be able to find in One UI 6.1. Get excited. Number six, Samsung brought in a similar feature with similar power into the voice recording app. With voice recording in One UI 6.1, it will allow you to transcribe the voice meeting that you've recorded and give you the text version of it. And then from there, you can summarize it. Samsung went all out with AI with this sort of productivity side of things. And this is one of the features that you can expect with One UI 6.1 to give you that extra bit of productivity. Number seven, and I guess closely aligned with that, the translation features. Samsung built a translation app 
that's on device AI. That could be a bit of a gray area as to whether that is coming to the Galaxy S23 series. But what you can probably expect is the ability using Samsung Keyboard to do chat assist, where it can actually read your text that you've got written down and give you different contexts that you can then lay into the message. So whether you want to make it more casual, more professional, add some emojis to it, this contextualized keyboard will read what you've wrote and then give you the option of spitting it back out. There's also translation built into that as well. So if you've wrote a message and you're conversing with someone in a different language, you could translate the message in real time as you're typing with them rather than needing to copy and paste out, for example. Genius. Closely related to that is call assist. So last year, Samsung introduced a thing called Bixby Text Call, whereas they're extending it further now with call assist. With the S24 series and One UI 6.1, you could live translate calls on the fly using call assist. So it also gives you a transcription of that call so you can read it. But basically, you say what you want to say, it then translates it to the other person in their native language, and then it will give you back your native language when you when they talk. It's incredible. It's a very powerful feature if you constantly converse with someone in a different language, like a family member. Number nine, and this is probably one of my most used features, Internet's AI. With Samsung Internet, Samsung have built the little AI button in the bottom. There's two different ways you can use it. The second one is the one I don't use as much at the moment, but I will when I go overseas, is the translate where it just live translates in the format of the website what it is you're looking at. Amazing, because it doesn't just put an overlay on it. It actually keeps the font of the website that you're looking at and then just translates and formats the whole thing correctly. Brilliant. But the one you'll probably be using the most is the summarize feature. Because if there is a website that is too long, if there's a website that's extensive information and you don't have the time to read the whole thing, you can press summarize and using Galaxy AI, it will summarize that whole website and give you the cliff notes of what's happening. You can choose to make it detailed. You can choose to make it brief. Either way, you have the options there. You can also copy and paste that text out if you need to as well. It's very time-saving and awfully convenient. And the last one in here is a very basic one, but it's inbuilt into the gallery, is instant slow-mo. The instant slow-mo feature where you can long press on a video in the gallery and it'll automatically use AI to fill in the frames that it's missing to slow the footage down is great because it gives you a preview of what that could look like if you slowed it down in editing later. So if you've got something, a moment that you feel might be best served in slow-mo, here's how to preview it. Just long press on the preview screen while it's playing, it'll slow it down for you. Then you can decide whether it's worth it. I'll chuck a bonus one in here too, circle to search. We don't know yet whether it's coming with 6.1 or if it's coming a little bit later down the line, but we do know that it will eventually make its way to the models previous. Circle to search has been great. It's so convenient. It's not doing anything that we haven't really seen before, but it does it so much faster and its recognition of objects is so good. Google have nailed this feature and it was so good that it launched first on the S24 series. So hopefully the rest of Samsung users can enjoy it too when the update rolls around. That was our top 10 list plus one of what you can expect from One UI 6.1 on your Galaxy S23 and others. Let me know which one your favorite was. Chuck a comment in the comments box below about which one you're looking forward to the most trying out on your S23 and others when 6.1 does drop. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also come and check us out on all our socials. We are everywhere that you can think of. Also come look at our website, sammobile.com, where you will get the most comprehensive Samsung coverage of any website you will find. I'll see you next time.